let me lay out what the real problem is here. Um, let me go back to Sunday. Can, do we have the video footage by any chance of uh, the riots uh, or the, not the riots, the actual criminal destruction of property that happened uh, in, um, in uh, Atlanta over the weekend? There was, a, there was a plot of land and they were beginning uh, to do work on a $90 million tree, police training facility, 85 acres outside. Well, what happens? A bunch of Antifa guys break down the fence. You're seeing the cops trying to defend it. And then they break it down. They set things on fire. It's criminal. What happened? This isn't just vandalism. This is a violent attack. Okay. And it wasn't about safety. This is anarchy. That's what these people are for. 35 people were detained. There were about 100 protesters that were in this attack. They got 35 of them, including an attorney from the SPLC, Southern Poverty Law Center. Now, the group that calls everybody else extremists and terrorists all the time. So this attorney was there, and the SPLC said, oh, they were only there as a legal observer. Mm. I got news for you. If Ted Cruz was in the crowd that was breaking down the windows of the Capitol on January (laughs) 6th and said, I'm only a legal observer, I wouldn't excuse him. These are the people that our administration has gone to to define domestic terror. And they have one of their attorneys there in the violent crowd. That's problem number one. Problem number two, you seem to have a pattern here. Seems like your allies or your law enforcement agencies seem to be involved in a lot of these things. The Whitmer kidnapping. There were more cops involved than there were people that plotted it. That's why everyone went free, including the FBI. Then you have Ray Epps. You also have several figures that have yet to be identified. The FBI has footage of everybody. We can't find that bomber. We have footage of him. We just can't seem to find him. And no, no computer program has his face. Wow. How mysterious. So they can't find him. They excuse Ray Epps, who claimed in a text he coordinated it, is on video telling everybody, you got to go in. We got to take this country back. You got to go in. Okay. That doesn't excuse the people who actually went in because he was shouting that, okay? Uh, But he was inciting. That's against the law. But he's fine. Then you have all of the people that were tried. Now, some of them are guilty. We see from this video that the guy with the horns on his head, uh, he doesn't look violent at all. And he was aided by the Capitol Police. How can you assign uh, ill will to someone and assign that they knew they were breaking the law when they were chums with the police and the police were opening doors for him, including the Senate chamber door? And here's the problem with this. He wasn't allowed to have any of this videotape because of national security. National security is bullcrap at this point because you cannot trust the people who have the videotapes because they have their own agenda, which has nothing to do with national security. As long as they can hold the tapes and hold the evidence and classify as classified national security documents, you can't defend yourself. Now this comes out. Can you imagine being him in prison? I I told you I didn't do anything. I told you the police helped me in. I told you I came in peacefully. 
Now he's facing four years in prison. If this were a drug cartel trial and you, you got all these cartel or mobsters up, if you screw it up with the key guy, you've let everybody go. That's why you have to make sure you're buttoned up. You got to make sure you, you are doing things exactly by the book because the law cannot be perverted. Our whole, our whole idea as Americans is it's better to let one guy go free or a bunch of people go free than one guy sitting in prison unjustly. When in doubt, leave it out. You have to beyond a shadow of doubt. Well, how do you create that if they are holding all of the keys? If they are in on something that is a conspiracy theory. They say that these people committed uh, a conspiracy to overthrow the United States. Well, that was the dumbest conspiracy of all time. And these were the dumbest leaders of all time. But... The FBI won't tell us because of national security if their FBI guys were on the ground. Now, they haven't denied it, so we know it's true. They were, but they won't tell us how many and what roles did they play. We also know that the Capitol Police and the FBI, from informants in these groups, knew who was coming and what they were planning on doing. Why didn't they alert? Oh, they did. They alerted Nancy Pelosi. They alerted Chuck Schumer. They alerted uh, Mitch McConnell. And they all said, no, nah, no reason to do anything. Excuse me? Excuse me? I think I can now say that we have hit the implosion of trust. I told you that the last thing that would happen before war would be an implosion of trust. What do you trust? Oh, let me give you a, let me give you another story um, today. This one comes from the, uh, the banking sector. Do you remember when we told you what was happening uh, with Bank of America, that they were allegedly going in and uh, and tracking people and gun you know, who had gun purchases and turning that over to the FBI. They said, oh, no, 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 we did this at a request. We did this. We now find out that they did that voluntarily. They did that on their own and then called the FBI and said, you want this? So who exactly do you trust? Our faith in our key institutions, I don't know how you put it back together without unplugging and replugging the entire thing back in. You have to reset to factory settings. You have to clean out the nest of vipers. Our government, our police, FBI, prosecutors, judges, schools, I don't have faith in teachers anymore. Do you? Why? Because of unions, not the local person, but because of unions and universities in colluding with local, state, and federal government. Our belief in not just justice, but justice for all, no matter what your political view is or your skin color. You know, we've never arrived at that lofty goal, but I do think for a while there, we were making progress people were waking up of holy cow how is that happening to somebody not like me i don't know if it well i i have no confidence that that stands today if it won't work for first amendment rights how can you trust it to work on things like murder our press this is the big challenge here today. If the press does not report honestly on the videotape, because if I were in the press and I saw this 
And I had been defending Nancy Pelosi and Adam Schiff and all those people in the on the January 6th committee. And I knew that they had bookmarked places that they didn't show that show a completely different story. I would be pissed because my credibility is gone because I trusted you. I believed you were on the right side. And what is the right side? Not Democrat, not Republican, not Independent. The right side is the Bill of Rights. Truth. Justice for all. If they're not outraged today, which none of them are, there is absolutely no reason to ever, you should cancel your cable subscription. You should never block it on your TV so you don't happen to give them just a a flicker of attention. And it's not because that's a punishment. You cannot allow the poisonous lies into your head. I am always for, I am never for censoring, censoring of speech. Never. More voices, not less, less. But these people have proven themselves time and time again to not just be wrong, but liars, malignant liars. You know what the definition of malignant is? Most people are like, oh, it's a malignant, a malignant tumor. That means it's bad, right? Cancerous. No, actually, the actual definition of malignant uh, is, quote, to cause death or deterioration, evil in nature, influence or effect in dangerous ways, passionately and relentlessly malicious. Huh. I think that fits the people like Adam Schiff. I think that that fits the people who have perpetrated this lie. I think that fits the media. They are relentless. Relentless and passionately malicious. And they are causing death and deterioration of our union and of our republic. It is time to find new guardians. Because these guardians have failed to protect and defend the Constitution of the United States.